the advantage of sitting and watching the reality show Little Champs, whether it's contrived or not, is you're listening to some amazing music, some young promising talent, and in whatever manner it is done, some great singing. If you're sitting and watching a special episode of two hours of KBC, you have a baritone, a man of class, as the anchor, and you have some interest in the new star coming in and talking. We know it is again a near fixed event. But nonetheless, there's some novelty, there's something pleasant about it. But if you convert this into a film script and push it down your gullet for two hours as a film, you say, oh God, and rarely are you going to say, thank God. Thank God is more, oh God. This film made by Indra Kumar in all fairness to is much better than his garish ishk or beta and those kind of films. Having said that, this is no good film at all. It is the, it's a, it's a firework that doesn't take off at Diwali. I wonder how a film of this kind, with an apology for a script, could have been an ideal release at Diwali. It is a one-line story. <clears throat> it's the story about Ayan Kapoor, played by Siddharth Malhotra, a young businessman who's lost out at the market and is therefore ready to sell away his big house with all the antiques, and has comic characters coming to buy the house, some kind of humor that is. And uh, he has fox paws all over the place. And late to spend time with his daughter for a birthday, while his wife, an officer of sorts with the police, played by Rahul Preet Singh, and a little child who's smart enough to say, my birthday gift is there, but I wanted to spend quality time with Papa, Choti Mubadi Bad types, lands I am in a road accident. So at one level, you have the scalp and the forceps and the scissors and the doctors and the surgery happening. And at the other, our young hero is uh, on the hot seat with Chandragup, with, uh, on the hot seat with Chitragup and Yamadharma Raja, YDCD or whatever. So we have uh, <coughs> Chitragup, CG as he's called for abbreviation, and you have Ajay Devgan in modern outfits. And, uh, Yam Dharmaraja, you have Y. D. Mahesh Balraj. Why is he in that costume? Modernity, for people to believe. That's the fig leaf explanation. And then you have some kind of a set, which is as garish as the film is, as ridiculous as it is. And this guy in the hot seat is answering question of redemption, deliverance absolutely insipid. There is neither humor nor drama. There is neither class nor interest. Every 10-15 minutes there is a small episode. The rule of the game is that if you lose you have you earn a number of you, you earn a black ball. If you win you get a white ball from every member in the audience. You really think the word to be used is not ball, but in the plural. Any which way, you finally know that all is going to end well, because you know if it ends, it's well. This is Ajay Devgan's sad appearance. This is Siddharth Malhotra lost in the film. One person in the film is a 10 minute role that Seema Pava plays as Siddharth Malhotra's mom is the only feature that I think is what you would like to believe after you watch two hours of, oh God, no, sorry, thank God. Bad movie. Not recommended. Suggest to Ajay Devgan and Sid Malhotra, 
but they need to read their scripts better and not be carried away by the fact that it's a commercial film. Thank you for listening to me. Acknowledgements to Abhinav and Datu. Do write in your comments and do tell us how you like this film. And my sincere advice, World Cup cricket is going on. There are lots of upsets happening there. Who would have thought Zimbabwe would beat Pakistan? Who would have thought Ireland would win the match? Watch it, it's worth it. It's far less predictable and far more dramatic than what's happening in the two-hour session of Thank God. Thank you.